Listen to bloody book's face. Olympic Hotel, Birmingham, Deborah speaking. Oh, just listen to that racket. What prop put Buck's face on? <laughs> I'm talking about the Sprog. You got me ice, Gaffer? Ice? <laughs> you want ice with your night nurse now, do you? <laughs> Any preference? Broken? Crushed? Cubed? Perhaps I can rustle up a selection of Phileas Fogs on an artichoke dip? Oi! I'm Mr. Springer, the owner. I'm not the gaffer. Same thing, isn't it? Well, it might be the same thing in the Latin Quarter of Abergavenny. But this is Smedic Village, mate. You would do things with a bit more bloody panache. <laughs> oh, cheer up, you miserable sword. It's happy hour. <laughs> yes, I'll tell him. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> it's a game, man. It's a game. I go away, I leave it on your own for five minutes, I come back to a fire full of Buddhists. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, man, bugger off. Will you practice in your rooms? I just phoned for you. A fella called Simon. Simon? Don't know any Simon? Simon Thorpe. Never heard of him. He's your sister's son. Oh, oh, oh not that muffin. What's wrong with him, then? He's a depressing git. <laughs> And he's related to you. <laughs> anyway, he's popping round. He wants to speak to you. What do you think your bloody answer phone's for? Here, nip down to Oddbins and get us a bag of ice. Oh, you've got some chance. It's 7.15. I'm supposed to finish at 6. Deborah, Deborah, if all you wanted in life was to get home in time for Top of the Poxy Pops, why, oh, why did you join the heady, high-powered world of... Uh, hoteling? I didn't. I came here on a YTS scheme. Yes. But why, out of the millions of unemployed, did I choose you? Because Filipinos are too pricey for you. <laughs> Deborah, Deborah, I saw something in you. You have a unique quality, which, with the right guidance, could send you to the very heights of this profession. Now then, you nipped on the off licence. I'm know? going home. Oh, well, well, book it off, and there's plenty more where you came from. <laughs> I have staff motivation conference, eh, Harry? Good evening, Mr. Strachan. Come on, Davy. It's no Mr. Strachan now. The name's Dougie. I'm not your teacher anymore. No, she's actually learning something. I'm a tutor now. Future lies before her like a jewel. Oh, I see. So the ritual cremation of an unsuspecting English breakfast is an educational priority now, is it? <laughs> education? What education did you give her? Look at the poor bear, she's ended up a skivvy. Oh, <laughs> yes, go on, you get off home to Chumba Wumba. <laughs> I'm just a man keep me off the door, Q. Don't ever lose your sense of humour, Harry. So, how was your day at school? Depressing. The police raided us. They found a bag of crack in a desk. She was a bloody good history teacher as well. <laughs> so I've told you, I've told you before, man. You want to get out of that cool that's comprehensive and into a bit of private teaching. Earn some decent money. Man of your ability, you could go right to the top. What do you want, Harry? An out? Can I not give an old pal a compliment? Mind you, uh, <clears throat> before you get settled, nip down the offy and get us some ice, will you? You what? We may be old friends, but I'm a paying guest here. Go yourself, you lazy, bold sod. <laughs> Do you know what they're putting them things? I don't want to know. The parts James Herriot couldn't reach. <laughs> Tell you what, you nip down the offing and I'll do you one of my fry-ups. I'm not that depressed. What? <laughs> you turned down one of my fry-ups for that bull scrotum and a bap. Harry, I'd rather eat the animal's full wedding tackle. <laughs> Suit yourself. Just look at this place, man. You know why I bought this place? I vaguely remember you mentioning it a few thousand times. Mm. Those newspapers all said that Birmingham was going to be the venue for the 1992 Olympic Games. But did Birmingham get the Olympics? If it did, it kept bloody quiet about it. <laughs> exactly. Barca, Pig and Lona got the Olympics. Birmingham got the milk race. <laughs> just got me army, pay out money and all after the Falklands and all that. This place just seemed ideal. Apart from his sister living up the road with a wimpy, brummy husband. Yeah, that's why I've named all my rooms after Olympic heroes. 